Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Finally, the day that everyone was waiting arrived. Today, we're talking about my DIY wedding dress. First of all, let me explain you my entire idea. My color palette was white and green, and in the following footages, you will understand what was in my mind. All the women will be dressed in white. And then I was programming also for the best man and also the child that is gonna bring the wedding ring. Not all the dress, of course, they can wear whatever they want, but I really wanted to find something like the pochette here, uh, the, the tie or the papillon, and uh, I really don't know how you call it. These buttons that you put in the, the shirts. I really wanna mention this uh, company because they were absolutely great. Gassani. I have the two tights, I have the bow for my boyfriend together with these two for the uh, sleeves and I got them also for the vestment and also the pochette that you got here. It is like the perfect green, the perfect. I couldn't find something more perfect with my dress. This is a piece of my fabric, like it is the same color. Now it's finally the time to speak about my crazy idea to do not one, but two wedding dresses. I'm seriously so much crazy that I want to try to do my own bridal dress. I have this dress that I made by myself that fits me like a glove. Basically, the plan was to follow the pattern that I already had with some variations. And here you can see the sketch of my wedding dress. My idea was to realize something see-through, full of flowers, and underneath this mesh, I wanted to realize something really simple and basic, white, something like a nightgown. But I'm gonna show you which material I wanna use. The material will be this one. These are the nets that here in Greece they use to uh, gather the olives. And you will ask why the heck I decided to use this fabric for my wedding dress. Here in Greece, almost everyone has got olive trees and they gather them with their family. So I went to help as well. And when I was pulling this net, I thought that that could be a really, really nice tail for a wedding dress. And then I realized that it was a see-through, so it could give a really nice detail for a wedding dress. It was green, something almost never seen. I like these kind of things. And it was cheap, because my idea for the entire wedding was to have a cheap DIY wedding. So this fabric was definitely Sara. Approved. This is the situation. First of all, voice <laughs> that wants to play with my wedding dress and then I'm a little bit anxious because I don't know from where to start. So I sticked some pins so it's not moving. I folded it in two. I have cut it a bunch of pieces, my eight pieces, and I'm gonna use this thread to put them together. Dress preparation, I really have no idea <laughs> in which level we are. <sighs> Let's leave aside for a little bit the green dress because it was time to think what to do with the inside part, the white one. One day in a shop, I spotted this top and I thought that the lace part was simply perfect as the upper part of my inside wedding dress. So after buying it, I brought it to a fabric shop so that I could choose the perfect fabric that had to go under the lace. I got this top and I already managed to stain it with my makeup. Well done, Sara. And I got 
fabric that is gonna replace the under part of the top. Look, they are perfect together. I'm gonna remove the white part from the lace and then I'm gonna attach my skirt. Boys, why are you always here when we film? Boys, what are you doing? I have to remove the lace. Okay, the job is done. I'm gonna cut this shape front and back in this amazing, lovely fabric. For the skirt, I'm gonna use these that I have as reference. You know, I'm trying to put together this part with the white part and so far so good, you will see it. <laughs> I was so happy, everything went almost okay except of this something went wrong with the sewing machine i cut this part inside and when i tried to remove it this is what happened so i have two solutions i am thinking about putting some pearls or i buy again the fabric i'm trying with some pins that has the shape of a pearl i think i'm gonna save it in the end i decided to go for the pearls and i have to say that i like the result even more with the pearl than without and the last touch has been adding in the hem a detailed crochet made by my mom and this completed the look one dress done and this will remain in the cellophane till the day of the wedding But now let's see what happened with the green one. And P.S. In some footages, the white one wasn't clean yet. Today, I'm gonna plan to do the sleeves. Even if, of course, I have to do a better shape. <laughs> At the back, I'm thinking of opening in a squared way. And as you see, I would like to fix, of course, these are pins right now, but there will be white pearls. I tried to attach some of the flowers with the pearl inside it's really nice so far not so good because actually this kind of stem that i bought is not actually forming the flowers and i have to cut one by one <sighs> long way i am here with boys and i'm stressing out because i did just this in something like two weeks hello so this is how it's working i have to cover these lines the sleeves i think are okay flowers down that have to be fading here of course it must be full of flowers to cover the lace checking on the wedding dress and now this is my problem is not working so i'm trying to to see what i can do for the neck with the neck i feel i'm like a monk oh god i just wanted to include you in this bad moment that i'm having I'm gonna make something like this so that the flowers can melt into. I am so bothered that this is a kind of creamy color and this is a kind of white color. In real life, it's bothering me a lot. And another big problem are the stripes. I hate these lines. I am changing everything. Like today I'm really shocked because I'm about to change all my wedding dress. If I use the second dress only as a second dress and if I use this dress just as a first dress. At the top, I will put nothing but a bra. On the underneath, I can put a green skirt so that these lines are not so visible. The green skirt arrived. Here we go much better i think
the flowers that are getting uh, more and more distance one in respect of the other. They will like vanish. I'm trying to add this part that is kind of steady here and in the arms and I'm gonna see if it works so it's not going down. These are the pieces that are put inside the corset. And yes, sometimes I'm a genius. Even if I do so, you see, because it has a structure right now. I really want to do a linen inside. Linen? I don't remember how you call it because this material is a little bit rough. So, you know, it will hurt. So I really prefer that at least this part will be with a line leaning inside, lining inside, I don't know. What I ended up doing is the back part like this and the front part like this. The day of the last day that I cut my flowers have come! Oh, yes! The dress is almost ready. And this is the dress! In the end, for the green dress, I spent only 14 euros. So I can totally say that it was a success. And with this video, it's a wrap with the preparation of the wedding. But I will do an extra episode with some footages of the wedding day and the after of the wedding day. So stay tuned. And as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting. If you want to support even more, please give a like to this video and subscribe is the red button down there. See you in the next one. Bye.